you really have the vote of confidence in Coach Rule and your coaches like since early in the offseason? Um, them talking about you as a leader in conditioning drills and everything you're doing, and then and Coach going out of his way to mention last week you were the starting running back. What does that, what does that do for, for your mentality going into next week? Um, really doesn't do too much, man. I mean, like, I mean, it's just like, you know, an edge, edge to it. I mean, I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing, you know, since I've been doing it in the spring, try to, like, get one better each and every day. But, you know, the, the starting position role doesn't really, like, you know, come to my brain too much. You know, I, I still have to come come up and show up every day and attack it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not taken for granted. So I'm just trying to keep on working hard, trying to prepare for next week because, you know, that's the first test and, and it's going to be a good one. The personality. I mean, AG's kind of like the goofy one. You know, he, he, you mean personality is football wise or personality actually personality? The totality, just the whole thing. The whole thing. I mean, if we talk about football aspect, I mean, you know, Ramir Johnson brings that, you know, catching off the backfield of the game, the speed back, you know. Anthony Grant brings the, you know, the power, agility, and the speed, and I bring the power and the speed. You know, so we all work together as one. Even Emmett Johnson. Emmett Johnson has the agility. You know, he can catch off the backfield as well. But, you know, a personality, I mean, like, we all, we all, like, goofy as a running back. I mean, like, we all try to, like, you know, lean on each other, lean on each other the best way we can, you know, in the meeting room, you know, trying to, you know, get better, taking notes, trying to, like, stay as one in the meeting room. Is there, is there an advantage to the, the top three guys being pretty much veteran guys? Uh, say it again. advantages to that, to, to your top three on the depth chart being veteran players in the, in the program? Is it an advantage? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's an advantage being a veteran guy. I mean, lean, lean on the young guys, you know, trying to get the young guys better. Quentin Ives, I, I mean, I spend a lot of time with Quentin Ives trying to get him 1% better, you know, trying to have him raise to the standard. But, you know, me, Ramir, and Anthony Grant being those top three guys, I mean, we just got to, like, be those top three guys in the whole conference, man. We're trying to, we're trying to be the best in, in the conference. You know, that's our, that's our standard, you know, going into, you know, week one. You know, we're trying to stamp that who we are, who we are as a running back room, and what we're trying to do. What, uh, what strides have you seen from uh, Emmett over the past month or so? Man, Emmett has made some tremendous strides, you know, from being a freshman to where he is now. You know, he's really taking the coaching, Coach EJ, what he's trying to, you know, display to him. And he's really taking it hard, you know, because EJ's being hard on Emmett for a reason. Because we, we might need Emmett. We're, we're going to need Emmett this year. You don't, it's a long season. You don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, he's taking every coaching, coaching ability, you know, as he can. But he's definitely, you know, becoming that veteran, you know, later on. But he'll, he'll be good. And the, you earning that first string running back position, you know, what, how did your camp go and what do you think you did to earn that spot? I mean, simply just did my job, you know, you put the, you know, when you put the work in, you know, from day one to now, I mean, you know, good things happen. But, you know, trying to not, like, like I said, when I first got in here, trying to not, like, think too much about the running back one, you know, as I can say, but just trying to just, like, you know, do me because that can all be taken for granted. I just still have to show up every day and do my job and do it to the best way I can, you know what I'm saying? What, what personal uh, expectations do you have for yourself in this season? Personal expectations? You know, I really want to, you know, um, be that, you know, that bell cow at a, in the run, in the, like the offense. I really want to take that step forward and, you know, you know, put put my ability to work. You know, just like protect the QB, catch the ball, run the ball, do my job. And once all the once I do all those three things, <clears throat> it's just going to take care of itself. You know, really everything is going to happen when you know when I do my job. I just focus on doing my job. And you know, playing relentless, discipline, and violent. You know, RDV, the standard that Coach Rule probably said all, all the time. You know, if you do those three things, everything is going to take care of itself. How the last two years prepared you for this? I mean, going through the injury and having to kind of wait for your opportunity to not really get into the year. How, how has that maybe prepared you for what you face this year? Man, I'm not going to lie. That first year, you know, going down, it was really taught me a lot. You know, that injury really taught me how to see things at an outside point of view. I really had to, you know, see things from a, a different point of view. Like when I got hurt, I had to really like, you know, lean on each other, actually encourage or encourage people. I, I got the encouraging aspect of getting hurt to like, you know, really like pour into a lot of people because you don't know when the game's going to be taken away from you. So after that first year, I kind of got it like, you know, okay, you know, you got to lean on each other, lean on guys, and um, just like, you know, 
taking it taking it a step up where like every time I touch the field, it can be taken away from you at any time. So I just don't take the take the field for granted. You know, I think about I um, I get to it's uh, like I get to do this, not like um, I got to do this. You know, I get to do this because everybody else don't you know have a um, opportunity to do these things. So. I take practice and take everything. Every time I put my helmet on, I get to do this, you know, instead of I got to do this. You know, it's a big difference. So you don't take everything for granted, and you wear that in like it's like, you know, the standard. I mean, like, you know, I think of a whole different perspective, you know, since I got hurt. You know, I just, I really have a, a strong will to do things, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I saw it from an outside point of view, just, you know, watched it, watched on the sideline because, you know, the first game I was hurt and then the second game I was dealing with turf toe. So this is like the first time I'm really actually getting to play these guys. So, I mean, just studying a lot of film, taking a lot of notes, you know, seeing their fronts, seeing everything, trying to prepare my brain and my body, everything, you know, to like, you know, as the utmost as I can, you know, just trying to like really fine tune these guys. So. Game one, it can be natural. You know, my natural ability will just take over. Are you about 225 now? Yeah, 225. What, what were you when you entered? Did, did you expect to be at about this weight through, as you went through your career? Um, I knew I was going to be a. I knew I was going to be a big guy. I mean, I was kind of like you know 195, 200 in high school. So when I got in college, all that you know weight, protein, and everything that you know gets implemented in your schedule. You know, you have no choice but to you know put on the weight, but I'm happy where I am right now, you know, just going to just keep on growing. You can tell Coach Rule is legitimately excited to just, like, take a team on the road, like, in the first two weeks and that kind of bonding, even, like, kind of a crappy locker room, whatever, you know, that yeah. kind of feel. You, you like that, too? Oh, yeah. To oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Coach Rule tried to make this whole fall camp as uncomfortable as possible. So when we do things like that, when we go to Minnesota and be in the crappy locker rooms and, I mean, it's nothing new for him. I mean, we stayed in the Selick dorms. I mean, that that was that was that was a test right there. I'm not gonna lie, but we all got through it, and we all got one percent better in each and every day. You know, the struggle's real. I mean, when you're in a struggle, I mean, like you just gotta stay with one another. You know, when we was in those dorms, it, it was it was it was tough. I'm not gonna lie, it was really tough. But we really came together as one, and I feel like nothing else is gonna break us. I feel like nothing's gonna break us. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it seems like he's going to play quite a bit. Yeah. Guys, uh, what's it like going against him in scrimmages? I mean, Deshaun, I mean, I'm mean, uh, talking about somebody that's put on more weight. I mean, Deshaun's definitely put on more weight and he feels like a linebacker when I when I like try to collide with him. But yeah, Deshaun's going to be a great player. I tell him every day. I mean, iron sharpens iron. He's going to be a great player for us, you know. We just go at it in the in the um, practice and so the games when he has to tackle Braylon Allen or somebody, it could be good and when I have to go against a a big linebacker, it's going to be good. So we just try to, you know, iron sharper an hour and get better each and every day with it. And it's going to be good. You know, him on the other side and me on the other side. It's going to be a good team. How have you seen him in pass coverage? I mean, everybody kind of sees the size and the run support, but what about his pass coverage? Um, I'm not really sure about his pass coverage because, you know, I really don't get matched one on one with him. I'm really with the linebackers matched one on one. So, I mean, I, I, mean I, I hope it's good. You know, I hope it's good, but I really don't have an really answer for that, you know. Thank you.